Buddy, how are you today? It's 10.02 here on The Fan. You know, listen, we're going to do our job. We're going we're gonna to get loose and we're going to rock it for four hours. But it, it just seems so trivial. Uh, it just seems so trivial to talk about the Rangers and the absolute insanity in San Francisco. Uh, the Yankees with a walk-off. We will. Uh, but, you know, I mean, just count your blessings. You know, it's crazy. I, I coached the game last night. And we had a picture. We took a picture of the kids. We won. That doesn't matter. And they're all, you know, seven and eight-year-olds. Their hats are on backwards, and they're all posing, and they're all jumping on each other. Uh, and you realize that uh, there's just no guarantees, man. So yeah. so just God bless everybody in Texas. I'm ti- We're all tired yeah. of saying condolences and prayers. Something's got to change. But uh, couldn't ignore it. We'll get down to the business of the show. But just horrific, yeah, man. Yeah, you know, when ang- does it end? A- anger becomes the prevalent uh, emotion above sympathy uh, in this point. There have been more shootings and days in this year, BT. Not all in schools, but this is it's gross. It's it's the only country in the world where this type of thing happens, and I my heart bleeds. My wife woke up this morning crying because she didn't want to send our kids to school because of just her thoughts about this last night. So again. It's it, it's anger. It's it's an, it's a, it's sympathy. It's it's all of those things. But man, what kind of world do we live in? Well, what kind of country do we live in? Yeah, that that's True. that's that's really the question. The world has Great many point. issues as well. But our you know, and I, there were so many things I wanted to tweet about last night. The Rangers, who were awesome. This Mets game was insane, even though they lost. Insane. I, I I'm like I, I'm not tweeting anything. The only thing I tweeted was about basically about what happened. And I'm like, you know, listen, how how do we call? And then I'm going to move on because I know you guys want sports and it's diversion. I get that. We get that. We're sports guys. We're, you know, but we're human beings. We're dads. We're concerned exactly. citizens, clearly. Parents. Uh, and parents. And, you know, I, I tweeted whatever. I, I don't know, verbatim. But, like, I mean, do we have the goal to call ourselves the United States of America when we can't even unite mm-hmm. on the one thing? And this is not political. If you take it that way, that's on you. This is just on a humanitarian level, on a common sense level. If we can't unite on the one thing that is destroying our schools, Mm -hmm. think about this, Teague. God knows how many more shootings there would have been if COVID didn't keep kids home. That's right. That's right. And, you know, the. the, For a year plus in a lot of spots. The emotional, the mental health issues Uh, that that often lead to these. But other countries have mental health issues. I agree, but they don't have as loose gun laws as we do. I got you. That's the problem. Steve Kerr said it best. I mean, they lost last night to the Dallas Mavericks, but you could tell his heart wasn't in it. I'm sure the team's heart wasn't in it. Uh, That was the only thing I retweeted because he was speaking for me. He had the same emotion that I had. Yeah, enough is enough, and we got to move on from it. All right. Um, I'm we, sorry. It's just 10.05 here on the fan. Take it away, T. What you got, bud? Look, so, I mean, you know, to jump into sports, and it's a hard transition, but we but we do this because what we do for a living. But, you know, you've been talking a while, BT, about the Mets and some of the issues that they potentially are going to have. The Mets need a bat. The Mets need some, some reinforcements in the bullpen, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I got to tell you, the Yankees pulled out a – a, um, I don't want to say miraculous because it's the, it's the Orioles. But they, they built, they yeah, pulled let's, out. Let's they, up the standard a little right. bit here, buddy. But they pulled out. I, I thought they were losing this game. I did too. The way that it, it transpired from the seventh inning on is that the Yankees have no chance of winning this game. And they pulled it out because of Jose Trevino and, you know, unbelievable story, which we'll get to in a second. But all of a sudden, the Yankees who, unlike the Mets, have been rolling along, um, you know, no injury issues, are starting to get some injury issues right now. Chad Green's got Tommy John. He's on the 15-day IL, but that's temporary. He's getting surgery. Chapman's on the 15-day IL. Donaldson and Gallo are on the 10-day IL. That's obviously only COVID, but they're unavailable for a couple of days. DJ has the wrist injury. Uh, Stanton... Uh, oft injured uh, Giancarlo Stanton limps off with a calf injury. That's the one that worries it, 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 me. Exactly. And all of a sudden, the Yankees uh, in the bullpen is faltering. And some Michael King, who's been amazing, he faltered. All this talk about the Mets needing something and, and, a, and, a, and a reinforcement, so to speak, is kind of being... Uh, usurped right now, all of a sudden, just like in the snap of a finger, a series against the Orioles, the Yankees are at the point where they're going to need some reinforcements. And maybe they're lucky because Trevino's playing as well as he is. And more importantly, Glaber Torres, who we've talked about all season long, has turned into this super utility guy who comes out of nowhere and is a hero with two home runs last night. But the Yankees 
as much as we think they are in control, are they're on the edge of maybe getting themselves into some trouble. Well, with define this, trouble. With, with, this, with the health issues. Define trouble. Well, if John Carlos Stanton is not available, who's mm-hmm. your DH right now? Well, I mean, you go a lot of ways. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, you putting DJ? He's hurt. Like, who's your DH all of a sudden? Who's backing up Aaron Judge? Who's scaring teams that they forced the pitch to Aaron Judge? And by mm-hmm. the way, Aaron Judge had a bad night last night. Yes. He was 0 for 5. You know, that's why it was kind of miraculous they pulled this thing out. But the Yankees all of a sudden feel like this, this, this massive rush that they started the season with just got stuck. Like slowed down in some molasses. Now they still won last night, and you give them credit. And again, I'll say it again: it's the Orioles. They should win this game. No, you got to caveat but, that. But, it's but, the Orioles. But the speed, which was they felt like they were going to run, uh-huh. it just it it's it got truncated a little. Well, bit, I mean, man. listen, it got, I'll, it got I'll give you this: a it, it, the season suddenly feels very different. Yes. There's no doubt about this. I mean, I'd be lying to myself. I'd be disingenuous with our audience. It feels a little different here. I get that. And it's really felt this different since the Donaldson situation over the weekend. Since that situation before last night, what, three straight losses. Mm-hmm. You mentioned Green going on the IL. He's done. Tommy John surgery. The bullpen doesn't look the same, whether it's injuries or performance. Chapman, who knows what happens with that Achilles. You know, you when I, when I see somebody getting treatment for Achilles tendinitis, I, I, to me, that it's just, it's just snap away. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you treat Achilles tendinitis. Yeah. It's the most brutal Riddle, I mean, when that, uh, whatever, I, I, that that is that is problematic. I would worry about that. I'm worried about Stanton because Stanton's the one guy whose healing powers, his recuperative, pow- recuperative powers have always been questioned. It's very rarely, well, Stanton, you know, tweak to him, he will see him in four or five days. No, as uh, he tweaks something, we'll see him in three, four, five months. That's the way it's gone since he's been brought to the New York Yankees. DJ LeMahieu. Um, if your wrist is bothering you, that's a big issue. Yep. But there's two ways to look at this. All right. There's the fatalistic way. Not that you're fatalistic. I'm not being you're, fatalistic. I know you're not. I know you're not. Because uh, because Trevino was a hero last yeah, but night. He's, but and, and, but and, he's also limited. There's I agree. The reason why the I Rangers agree. said okay. But he's you a, could have he him. was the hero last night. That's and he's all I'm talking than about. Kyle that's right. Who and, stinks? And Torres was great last night. Uh, yes. Who's so been a lot better? There's some there's some mitigation going on here, but there's still worry. I think the Yankee fan doesn't want to be worried. Worry's not the right word. Perspective the right word. Okay. I think it's not worry, it's not fear, it's not sounding the alarm prematurely. It's being aware of the circumstances that you and I just rolled out, but it's also maybe about repositioning, resetting the the expectations for the season. I you started seeing some some articles up oh, Watch out, 98 Yankees. I mean, a little early for that stuff. Now, the Yankees are 30 and 13. They've got, they're the first major league team to get to 30 wins, a nice benchmark. Now, will they be the first major league team to get to 40? I don't know, because the schedule toughens up. You've got four games at Tampa this weekend, which is always a hellhole mm-hmm. uh, since they became the Rays and dropped the devil. Uh, then you've got the Angels of the Bronx next week. They're a good team, as we know. But the Yankees, listen, they're good. But they are I never thought they were this juggernaut beyond reproach. Yeah. The league is better. The division's better. Even with the Jays, you're seven up on them. They're going to eventually start to hit. Four and a half up on Tampa. You see them this weekend. I never once thought that the Yankees cruised like they did back in 98 because the division was trash. I didn't see that coming, but... Yeah, now there's some situations that uh, that compromise the the at least the immediacy this is the, of the success. This is the first test. baseball. This is the first test of the resiliency of the of the New York Yankees. The the character that we always talk about that defines championship teams. It's it's it starts now because this is the first injury uh, cluster that it seems to derail teams. It's derailed the Yankees in the past. It's derailed the Mets, as we always, as we, as we were just talking well, it about. it hasn't derailed the Mets. That's what's so amazing about Not the Mets. Not this year. Not this year. In the okay, pa- gotcha. in past years, it's derailed the Mets. Um, in fact, the Mets have been amazing. I mean, the fact that they came back in that game, no, I didn't see much of it because it was so damn late. It but was insane. The fact that they came back into that, in that game, light-hittingly came back into that game, yeah. was, it's a, they have the character to to weather any kind of injury issue. It feels like the, now and the, the personnel because the they personnel. can run. And the Yankees, that's what we have to find out. Yeah. If Stanton's out of this lineup, and I and I said that jokingly. Who's 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 your DH BT? There really isn't a great option. Well, I mean, listen, there's a lot. I don't want to bore people with seven different machinations of a lineup here, but there's always a way to skin the cat, dude. Yeah. I mean, you could put Rizzo could take a, a listen. It does depend on on DJ. 
If DJ's wrist is like chronic, but that's the point. That really does change my answer. But that's the point. Well, I mean, DJ's, for now, got, it's DJ's the point. got a wrist issue. He's, right. you know what I mean. And Stanton's getting an MRI today. It, it, the lineup doesn't feel as potent, and it's crazy. Like, two days ago, man, this Yankees lineup is potent. How are you getting through this thing? You know, you got DJ, then you got you got Rizzo, and, and Donaldson and, was coming around. Donaldson was coming around. Obviously, he's got the COVID thing and the game suspension nonsensical that we talked about yesterday. Mm-hmm. But gutless, right? You know, Aaron Judge. Stanton, it just felt like the top of the lineup was, it was, it was, you feared, you feared it. And then you see this kid Florial out there. He's not even a kid. He's going to be 25. It's like, he just, he just doesn't have it, man. Yeah. He just does not have it. Yeah, well, he's young. I mean, he's 25. No, he's going to be 25. Old. He's not that young. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. he's, he's, not, he's only five years younger than Judge. <laughs> we talked about this before. He's been here for seven years, Judge. What has he got? 30, 30 games? He played, no, he's uh, played about 30, 15 games, I think. 30 now. at bats or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he's, he's not the answer. So it's not like, you know, I don't. I don't know what you pull from the minors. Obviously, the Volpe's and some of those kids are nowhere near ready. Hey, listen, this is this is this this is the the arduous nature of a lengthy baseball season. And uh, I was. I don't know when Stanton's coming back. I don't know when D. I, I don't know what DJ's story is. Am I worried? No. Is is there some concern? Yeah. That I, I think that you're being you're being arrogant, or you don't. You don't know baseball if you refuse to admit that the Yankees are entering a very interesting phase of the season. Yeah, no doubt. No, they definitely. I'll give you are. that. Well, well, this. Well, the reason I I bring this up because we've seen it with the Mets, right? We've seen them push through this injury issue and and their character and their resiliency kind of shine. Right now, the Yankees have. I don't want to say it's a chance to do this because it's like, hey, you need a chance to shine through adversity, but it's here. You better shine through it, right? Because that's 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 what defines good teams and teams that win 100 games and get deep into the end of the postseason are the ones that get through these moments. This is the Yankees' time now to get through this moment, and I think it's going to tell a lot about this team and what they what they can potentially be. 877-337-6666. Tiki and Tierney Show here on the Fan Inside the Town Fair Tire Studio. Our friends at Town Fair remind you, you always get the guarantee lowest price on name brand tires from Connecticut to Maine, nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. This guy couldn't wait to try to rattle my cage. <laughs> I'm not rattling your cage. You see the cage? hand, but do you see the hand? Look, Look at are, the steadiness. You, you are. Look at that steady. You, you are. You are the the alarm sounder for the Mets. I'm the what? I'm, you're the alarm sounder for. They need no, a no, bat. I'm the realist for the they show. Need, they, okay. So, but now the Yankees are in the same. And spot. I kept it real, and I said that this is a really, really, you know, dangerous, interesting phase that the Yankees are all right. Listen, if I was sitting here. And if I was just like deflecting, oh, Tiki, you're wrong. Oh, Tiki, you're matching. Oh, Tiki, you're hyperbolic. No. I mean, these are ba- these are circumstances that are not yet grave, but let's see what it morphs into. I'm, I'm with you on that, but I know you couldn't wait to do this to me. <laughs> I, even though you think, even though you say you're a Yankee fan, I you am. couldn't wait to. Uh, I'm, not, you I'm, can, I'm not. I'm not. You I'm, couldn't I'm, wait to stick it to your partner because you think your partner's too aggressively against the Mets. Yes, I am. I am. I try, right. to, I try to keep it level here. Mm-hmm. You're the one that gets a yeah, little. You keep it level. I keep it real. <laughs> 877-337-6666. Let's get to Mike and Suffern first up on this Wednesday on The Fan. What's up, Mikey? Hey, Brandon, Tiki. What's going on, guys? How All's are good, you? Mike. We're good. What's hey, up? Hey, pal. How you doing? All's good. All's good. Thank you. Yeah, no. So, guys, I mean, I've been calling you the last couple of weeks and letting you know, look, look, the law of averages are coming. The Yankees are destined to lose in the ALDS. And, you know, slowly but surely, I'll be, I'll be proved right. But, um, look, for me, and, and, and guys, really, really, really check this out. But, but for me, the, big, the biggest issue right now is that the Yankees don't have a starting center fielder, right? That's, that's got to be issue, issue number one. Mm-hmm. Now, if you look, and I, I really took a look at this, and I see something significant, but if you go check out some Hicks at bats from, let's say, you know, two, three years ago, and if you just look at him at the plate this year, A, it looks like he's standing a good foot further away from the plate. Mm-hmm. He's not getting any extension on the ball. And, guys, really take a look at it. Check out in that bat from a couple years ago. Because to me it seems so obvious, like something in terms of, you know, his, his technique or his, you know, mechanics. or Just to, yeah, his, doing, about but, his um, setup, his setup. Yeah, exactly. He's kind of standing mm. extremely far from the plate. It kind of makes him look a little smaller in the box. It expands his zone a little bit. Check it out and, and, and give me a little bit of a reaction on that. But um, it's really something I've been seeing very strongly. Can I point something out, too? And listen, thanks for the call there, Mike. Well, I don't, if we can identify an Aaron Hicks fan, by all means, call the show. <laughs> I would love to meet you or hear from you uh, outside of the Hicks family, of course, with all due respect. This is a real little subtle play, all right? 
but on the ground ball to shortstop last night, mm-hmm. and I and I do this, and I did it last night. I coach third base for the kids, and you gotta get a secondary lead, right? And I tell them, and we, we I think we won eighteen five last night. And not to rub it in the other team's face, but we can't get in bad habits. You can't steal at that age, only third base. Yep. When you're on second or third, I, I, and the first base coach has the first base the runner, I've got second and third. I drill it. Get your secondary lead. Be aggressive. To land on your right foot mm-hmm. as the ball is coming into the zone near the catcher's mitt so that when, you, when ball hits mitt or bat, you are leaning forward on your right foot, which means you could either go or you could then plant and retreat back to second or third, right? Makes sense. And if you watch that play, and I didn't even I, – I, I said it and I didn't tweet it, whatever, but I thought about it. Hicks' secondary lead was trash. Mm-hmm. He got thrown out by a by a whisker at the plate. Nice tag. Yeah. He went head first, if you recall. That's right. That if, if you And that is just – he's not playing well, well, but he's not even in the game at this point. The, Bad secondary lead. Those are the little things that, that determine wins and losses. Those are the little things that the Mets are doing – Absolutely that the Yankees right. have not really had to yet do this and it's, year. It's interesting. I didn't and even, they better start doing them now. I, I didn't even think about that because I wasn't paying attention. I just said, ah, it's a good throw, good plays, bang, bang type I of thing. I got you. It's your partner's looking for different but, things. But, horrible, but right. horrible secondary. But there are those little Lazy. things that make a difference. And it I, I, that kind of feels like that's who he is. Well, right? It's just, it's just he takes – he takes um, maybe his success previous – for granted. How about he takes his athleticism for granted? Uh, Is maybe, that a better way to maybe, frame it? Maybe, maybe. But he's had to sex and he's and he's and he's gotten paid a little bit. Not mm-hmm. a ton, but he you know, he's got a forty million dollar deal. So I mean he takes it a little bit for granted, not realizing that it's the little things that keep you thriving. They keep you you know, you beat that play out, you score, all of a sudden people are saying something different about you. Well, it just feels different. Exactly. Otherwise other other than being, you know, a a, a footnote in a in a big win. Um, that out doesn't mean anything, but that, it's going to against a better team. That's, that's my right. point. But if he, if that, if that run counts, mm-hmm. then all of a sudden Aaron Hicks has a little bit of a, and you're talking it the other way. Yep. Oh, he took that secondary lead, and that's why he scored. He's like, oh, he's doing the little things right. Go watch the, go watch the replay, uh, because the yes, you know, yeah, listen, yes, and S and Y, their camera work is usually superb, both of them, uh, but. They did an expe- exceptional job, I thought, because they they panned from two different. It was a you know three four hopper to the sh- nice play by the shortstop, good arm, good throw, good yep. tag. Uh, but you can actually see Hicks on third base. It's I don't want. It's not a late jump. Don't look for that. Look at how little um, distance he has from third base. Now the Yankees won. If you're not looking for that, that that's that's fine. You know, I'm not trying to sound like a baseball nerd here, but th- you have to do those. Yeah, things. but here's the reason you bring it up, BT, and I think it's important because. They're starting to get some injury issues that we we just talked about. So these little things are going to matter. These extra runs that you can manufacture, like the Mets do, are going to matter between winning and losing. Okay, so here's the question for you. And I t- listen, many of you may well, I'm not, I was going to say many of you maybe think this. Many of you Mets fans do think this. Tiki broached it a little bit today. I got it. I'm all right. We'll be big boys today here and girls, right? If you want to call in and have some fun. If you think or if you if you thought for a while that I've been a little bit too critical during the Mets' success, okay? Do you think that what is apparently plaguing the Yankees now with all the things we listed, bullpen malfunctions, injuries, Stanton, wrist for DJ, all the things we went through, uh, the three straight losses before the Orioles win last night, do you think that I'm at least striking a balance for the Yankees? And do you think maybe you the the Yankees should be more concerned, like more? Um, I'm telling the Mets to go out and get a big bat. Do we need to change the conversation? Have the Yankees go out and do something? I don't think that's the case yet, but maybe you do. Eight seven seven three three seven six 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 six. 